Hey guys, thank you for joining today. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of cleaning and decluttering on my kitchen. It's been quite a while since I actually have gotten things out of cabinets and drawers. This might be a series of videos um, because obviously it's a lot to, you know, take out and manage to figure out where I'm gonna put things. So I'm gonna take you along this journey because I know a lot of you guys are very inspired this beginning of the year, decluttering and cleaning up and all that stuff. Um, so if you happen to be new, I really would like you guys to join my community, hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get started. So actually um, we just, today's Saturday and we actually head back from the kids are in soccer practice. They're like the first time that they're like uh, joining this community. I and absolutely love this brand for two things. They're not um, sponsored or anything, but I do want to mention that vitamins for kids are super essential because most vitamins are filled with tons of sugar and tons of artificial everything. And these vitamins are absolutely not at all like that. So um, I do highly rec recommend you guys check them out. I feel like I have mentioned them maybe on Instagram if you happen uh, not be following me on Instagram. Go ahead and check out my Instagram as well. Connect with me there. But Haya, it's a kids daily multivitamin and it can be, um, so they, they have completely no sugar and I'm telling you they've been using these for maybe a year. Um, and they absolutely love it. There are two years and older vitamins, uh, 30 chewables. They come in the mail, which I really appreciate. Um, you don't have to, you know, uh, sometimes it used to happen like I will run out and I don't have vitamins for my kids to give them and stuff like that. So they, um, they come in very cute. I'll show you. So they come in really cute containers. Um, when you first order them the first time and you get to personalize the bottles while the kids do. Uh, they are glass bottles, really great quality. Uh, and as you can see, they can put their stickers, they put their names there um, and all those stickers. So they are, I'll show you just the key, uh, uh, key picture frame here of what uh, it contains and how they are uh, really great for the kids. The kids are um, really, really in love with these vitamins. So. It was time for the refill. It comes on a monthly basis. You don't have to worry about running out or anything. It just comes automatically. And uh, they come in like, uh, the first month it comes in a big box so you can get the bottles and the stickers so you can personalize them. And then from that month on, you get the two little packs that you pour into each of your kids' bottles. But they're really, really good. They're designed in the US, so they're um, really great quality. Let's go ahead and get into the kitchen. <laughs> here on the glasses um, area so let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Thank you. 
During this section of the project, you guys, I got rid of so many cups. Um, I literally, one of those Whole Foods carton bags, I fill up two big bags of just glasses that we haven't used in years that we were just holding on to them and just regular other you know coffee cups or water cups that we were just collecting there for no reason um and just cluttering the space so it felt really really good to be able to clear up some space on these cabinets now this organizer i truly had no idea how i was gonna use it but i thought that it would be useful for something i got it on amazon and i thought that it would be helpful to like space uh, save some space in a certain area and i had no idea that i was going to use it for the kids water bottles but it worked out just fine it was a little bit tricky though because the space was a little bit narrower than what I expected, but it still worked out just fine. And in just a second, you guys, you'll see the decision making that went on between my husband and I with the coffee cups. We can get rid of these ones. That's yours. So that's your choice. No, that was that was from your dad. So. My dad wouldn't have got Starbucks there. Uh, I guess it's in pretty good condition, and it's a Starbucks though. So. Oh, well, well, subscribe to Starbucks then. This one, well, yeah. We're gonna keep that. That's a Yeti. Yeah, we're not keeping this. Oh, this is probably my dad's. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. No, I don't think it was. I don't think we. This is good. This is fine. Yeah. It's kind of cool, but I don't remember when is the last time you used it. So this is all we're keeping. What is this? Oh, for the um, French press that we have in the in the RV. I'm gonna redo this one too, but all right, so this is the coffee cups. <laughs> all right, guys, so just so you have a little bit of understanding where what is happening over here is that. Phase one is basically all the drinking materials that we have in the household, including coffee cups, cups, these water bottles, and I have no idea why in the world I kept these Starbucks cups. Like, seriously. Anyway, so uh, all these water bottles were in, down here. I think I'm gonna condense. I have done these condense. They uh, try to get rid of some already in the past for a while. So I might get rid of some of them as well. But um, these were also here and like down, down there, and um, in these, which is part of my smoothies in the morning like this is part of the smoothie uh, stuff um, so I consider that since the, since the blender is all about trying to shift things around to find the best um, uh, functionality of the space so what I'm gonna do is just put these here all, all the cups here and the uh, rest in these cabinets <laughs>
All right, guys, so this cabinet is right next to the refrigerator in between the dishwasher and the refrigerator. And I had some grilling supplies and, you know, all this kind of stuff. But it was getting mixed up with uh, electronics, random stuff. It was becoming our second junk drawer, basically, in a way. So I decided to actually uh, switch things around and uh, move all the grilling area because it's, this is such a big drawer that we don't need all that space for the grill um, supply. So the junk drawer uh, actually is the one that I you just saw me taking out. It's smaller, so I moved that stuff there over and from that it became to organizing all the drawers uh, next to the sink which are like all the um, spatulas, um, baking supplies, uh, all, all these stuff that you're seeing like I'm um, going back and forth reorganizing making it more functional for the area that it's in and it was a lot a lot of trial and error put it because you know spatulas and things are very awkward shaped things don't fit right in our organizers and stuff like that so I was playing around for a while it's and this is the most time-consuming part of the whole project kind of trial and error moving things around um, just thinking what will be the best so the grilling uh, supplies it, it became the second drawer that you see there and then that second drawer used to be all the baking spatulas and baking stuff so I moved it to the third drawer that you see that I'm putting them there and uh, the third uh, drawer was um, all the mittens and silicon stuff and silicon mats that you saw I moved to the junk drawer so there was a shuffling around of drawers and stuff all right, you guys, so I just took the longest break right now uh, browsing on Amazon because as you can see, this is a corner cabinet and I have my pan laid on that cabinet uh, in there. And I was just browsing on Amazon what will be the best solution for this. And I found this organizer um, that you can actually use it standing up like that for the pans or uh, for the baking pans or the uh, stovetop uh, pans sideways. So I ordered this, it's not gonna come on time for the video, but stay tuned on my Instagram. I will definitely share with you guys how it turns out as far as this area of the cabinet because I think it will make it more functional and saving much more space. I feel like I'm so worried every time I'm opening these up. Like, things slide up and, and I feel that this cabinet should be purposed for a different uh, thing other than, than the baking pans uh, there. So I will uh, keep you posted. Now, when I was feeling like I was kind of under control with the situation, I opened this cabinet and I look at this mess and I just don't even know how to deal with this, but we're gonna do it, you guys. So let's go ahead and tackle it. Get everything out, clean it up, and start all over.
right guys so I finally organized this cabinet that was driving me crazy for quite some time already um, it's still busy and you know stuff like that but honestly it's a hundred percent better like I couldn't pull it out or do anything on it so it makes me feel much more at ease and this was the last minute kind of hack that I uh, kind of came up with. So I glued it with a 3M uh, things that come with, uh, I have shared with you guys previously of this brand. Um, and I just, um, it's a little rack that I can swing it around, but uh, it's mostly to keep these brushes and extra long sticks supplies um, that I can just have them up there. And all the products that I actually need on a regular basis are here. The rest of this stuff, it's gonna be going um, in the garage. In one of the cabinets, I do keep like extra supplies, or when you know when product products come in, like a two pack or something, all the other stuff uh, is there. So I know that when I run out of my products that I regularly use here, I can go to that cabinet and check if there's more. If not, then you know obviously get more. But it gives me a little bit of more organization and sense of space and also um, storage as far as like keeping track of my supplies. So I will put all these uh, things that I don't really need or use regularly um, in the cabinet and as I need them I can bring them out. And finally guys, I just want to thank you for coming along to this uh, decluttering and organization of my kitchen cabinets. It has been long overdue. This is a, one another, another of those projects that I had been wanting to do from last year, uh, starting off the new year. So I finally got it done. I hope it gives you the motivation that you need to tackle whatever cabinet or whatever area of your home that needs some uh, attention and love and decluttering. So if you happen to be new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment below what you thought of this video. I will see you guys on the next one.